Hey guys, I hope you guys are having a great day today. Earlier today I released a video related to a very important development concerning AMC, which I will link in the description of this video. Make sure you go check out that video. That aside, there was a lot of really interesting stuff that I think everyone should be aware of. Today we are going to talk about a couple of small developments, including some worrisome ones concerning brokers. Today's segment will be super laid back because the big informative video was already released earlier today. We are going to cover some news, small but interesting developments and technical analysis. Remember that all content in these videos is subject to my own interpretation of things and I am no financial advisor. I am just another person searching for the hidden truth in all that is happening. With that said, let us dive straight into the matter at hand. First and foremost, trading 212 seems to be causing a lot of headaches and issues to investors. Many people are posting screenshots online of conversation they are having the representatives of the broker, and they are being denied the right to prohibit their own shares, in particular of GameStop and AMC for the most part, from being lent. If one does not have full power and authority to decide if you can lend your own shares or not, then does one really own the shares? That is what is at stake here, because this is a pure violation of the own terms and services of the company as it has been pointed out by so many people. This is a grievous disregard of ownership and trading 212 really needs to think about what their next step is going to be because people online are already calling for lawsuits. There is no grounds by which I can see them being able to uphold this type of criminal behavior when it goes against their own policy. As if the problem wasn't bad enough, Trading 212 is now also denying people the ability to transfer their shares over to other brokers. That's right, they are blocking people from being able to move over their rightful property over to competing brokers. They are advising people into selling their own stocks and then withdrawing the funds which they then could use to open another account with another broker and then buy shares at whatever market price it is. I really hope these clowns get sued to the brink for this. Though Trading 212 is a broker that provides these financial services in the UK, I totally empathize with my apes across the pond and really hope for the best. I will continue to monitor this situation and provide any updates. Stay strong, fellas. The battle, as I have said before, will keep getting harder and harder as time goes by. Find your resolve and hold regardless of what happens. Morgan Stanley announced that they are going to double their dividends, while Bank of America also announced that they are going to be raising their dividends by a whole 17%. Now, let's not all start going crazy, but let's not ignore the timing and overall weirdness of this. As Rensol so cleverly pointed out, before the economic crash of 2008, banks were boosting up their dividends, which is really odd because right now as I mention almost every video, the economy is not as a well-situated place. We are being held by an ever-deteriorating foundation where the problems are not addressed and instead are being kicked to be dealt with at a later time. These banks made statements as to why they were raising the dividend payout and they cited the Federal Reserve stress test as the main sole driving factor in making them raise their quarterly dividend payout. What is happening, for those that might still be a little bit lost, is that the banks are essentially pushing and manipulating different variables to have the Fed to have to report stress test as underreported or wrongful outdate data. They use this excuse as a means to justify a narrative that says hyperinflation is nothing to worry about. As such, these banks quickly come and raise dividends while simultaneously taking all their cash from their reserves as a way to prepare for the crash we could see. Everything about crashes almost has a perfect blueprint of how banks and businesses act in anticipation to crisis-level events. What we are seeing with the banks, in context with everything else in the overall economy, is nothing but a traditional and textbook procedure that further gives indication that my theory into an economic collapse is bound to happen. For those new to the channel, this economic crash is what I think will cause the squeeze, as its magnitude is of significant proportion as to cause margin calls upon margin calls to the points where hedge funds will be forced to default and that is when we get paid. Thank you, Rensel, for bringing this to my attention. Now, we have talked about two set of updates that are relatively boring and don't really speak to excitement. Well, let's end the news segment with a really bullish set of developments because this is for sure going to get you excited. BlackRock announced they plan to change the benchmarks of 10 iShare ETFs to Russell indices. In fact, the wants to switch about $20.7 billion worth of assets under management. Let me break this down a little more for you smooth-brained apes. BlackRock, which we have talked and discussed how they are collaborating with the Fed to bring down hedge funds, 
have now announced that they are selling their Dow Jones ETFs, in this case an amount of $20.7 billion worth of Dow Jones ETFs, and are going to use it to buy Russell 1000 ETFs. Guess what company stock Russell 1000 follows? That is right, GameStop has been recently added to the list. This is of no absolutely coincidence, these people know exactly what they are doing. BlackRock wants the biggest piece of the pie when we squeeze and they are setting their chips right now. Now, let's be serious here for a moment. Due to GameStop not being considered a tech company by market standards yet, BlackRock's index switch is very unlikely to have any effect on the stock. What this means is that BlackRock will be switching benchmark indexes which means that when they buy, it will be directly from Russell 1000 and not the Dow Jones. It is super big news in my opinion, but level your expectations, this is not a $20.7 billion stimulus into ETFs that follow GME and will now cause it to rocket into orbit. Still, it speaks to everything we have discussed in this channel and I am super happy about it. Today, the Fed engaged in reverse repo operations totaling over $841 billion, a brand new record. Dark pool trades reported for GME have accounted for 46% of the total volume today while dark pool trades for AMC accounted for 61% of the total volume we experienced today. AMC has a pretty bullish pre-market today, eventually running to $61 upon market opening. However, the stock proceeded to decrease throughout the day, building small chunks of support that it would eventually break. As I have said, this week will be a consolidation period for the stock overall and though we did have lower volume today, it is just a phase of the larger picture. AMC ended the day at 56.43 under the VWAP. It will be interesting to see where it goes tomorrow, if it continues dipping or if it starts experiencing a bullish bounce up to 60s again. GME had a neutral pre-market and a bearish market opening, falling from 215 to 208. The stock traded in a channel for most of the day between 209 and 211 for the most part. This is that consolidation period we have seen and talked about so much on this channel. I am really happy to see GME at these levels put up such a strong fight. We ended at 210.88 which is right above the VWAP. I think tomorrow we might experience some more dipping but we shall see. I remain super bullish for both stocks and want them to stay at these levels and continue to consolidate for a while. And with that, I want to thank you for making it to the end of the video. Thank you so much, this is such a random video that took me 3 hours to complete so please drop a like if you found it useful and please remember to comment. We can no longer sit on the sidelines and let hedge fund bots take over our community. Let me know if you liked the video, if you found it clear and insightful, and if you were excited and plan on buying more AMC or will hold to see what happens. Thank my Patreons, because without them this channel wouldn't be possible. Also thank you to all for those one-time donations. I know not everybody can pledge support and instead opt for a one-time donation and it is equally appreciated. If my name isn't highlighted in the comments, then it isn't me. Either way, thank you for being here, let me know if you liked the video and found it useful and I hope to see you guys later today on the next one.